Hello and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic. Um, today I'm gonna I have a customer request to show you what we can do with the box and some software in terms of demodulating and checking some telecom standards. And I'm just gonna show you briefly how I use the LTE package from us, which you can download for a 30 days uh, trial to get the license. If you want to GSM or 3G or Edge or any of those, we have other third-party softwares that integrated support for USB spectrum analyzers if you want to do it a little bit more in, in depth. But I think it can give you a good overall. So before I start, I just do the same thing as normal. I use the DPX window. Uh, I will open as I call an oscilloscope view or a time overview, which is this navigator view. And I know it's roughly at 800 megahertz, there's something, and you can see that it's a little bit low, so I go in here and I enable the internal preamp. This is only for the 500 and 600 series, you actually have control of the internal preamp, and then I do that in the ref level a little bit. And you can see that you know, there's some LTE signals. You can also see here my collection data in the kind of scope window, uh, 5 milliseconds is probably better. There's some activities over here. And then I'm going to use the trigger and just to trigger on this one so we can have a little bit more stable. Move it down a little bit. Uh, where are we over here? So we at least get something. Yeah. Okay, here we are. We can start here and see what we can do. The other thing I did from the beginning was enabling the GPS. So this has a built in GPS, it's locked. And that together with the, uh, the frequency reference here. So I get a very, very good tracking on my, my oscillator. Okay, so here we are, what can we do? So in the menu over here, there is actually something called LTE analysis. And I'm just gonna show you some part of this, but L the LTE constellation. And this is only valid for downlink in our software, not uplink. So here we go, and nothing works. So what I just do is kind of, I know that the stepping here is that there's one at six. Oh, you can see from time to time, it's not really the strongest one. So we go to the next one. I think it's here. And you can see the constellation. It's not the perfect. I'm indoor with a really bad antenna. But you can see the, you know, the plots here in the constellation. The things I can control a little bit more is under here is that I can uh, enable equalization if I like to get a little bit smoother. I can see the control channels and the data channels. I can have the analysis time a little bit up so I have more, more symbols. Of course, more symbols it takes more time. And I can just remove the, the equalization again if I like. So it's a very, very simple and nice tool. Maybe my trigger is a little bit, uh, I can reduce it a little bit. So we get some more data. And after this is done, this is how, how simple it is. So we can put that this in, in this auto again, and we'll do it a bit faster. And the other things that we can look at is in this one, in the LTE stuff, we can look at uh, channel spectrum, power versus time, and adjacent power. So in this case, you know, it's going to open some windows, so it's going to be stopped a little bit. I'm going to tweak a little bit. So uh, this one, real time, we can close. We really don't need that one. We really don't need a spectrum. And if you end up with something like this, this is just, a, you know, kind of you always have the possibility to move this around, you know, make them a little bit smaller. So in this case, uh, we have swept here. And this one, just need to check that so we can do it uh, real time, like this. And now I'm I'm checking most of it. Uh, this spectrum here, I'd like it to see as a measurement parameter, and it should be frequency domain averaging. So you know, if we have any burst here, we see it. So I hope you find this, you know, what you can do. As I said, this is indoor testing <laughs> downlink from a base station and it's a very simple useful tool just to check and you can see that the LTE power versus time or what I have up here is mostly the same thing so uh, we will add more ID to this if we get cell ID group ID sector ID and you want to try to change again you go to I think the other ones was like six and we have a cell ID which is different my reception is really poor here 484 and cell ID 161 
and I think actually there is something down here as well uh, here and it's a different you can see it's kind of odd hope you enjoy this uh, short video what you can do as long as we have the data and there's some clever software we can do whatever we want and um, stay tuned for a video that I hope show how you uh, decode Tetra using uh, uh, a, a software from Switzerland. Thank you very much. Bye.